Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning back in. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun, another exciting lesson. This is um, something that you might want to do if you have a lot of worksheet tabs, especially over time. And let's say you generate a report using a user form or whatever, and let's say that it looks like this report here. Just a simple list of things with some numbers with them, and maybe a chart is generated or something. And whenever you're done with that report, you don't want to look at it anymore, right? So what do you do? You click away but maybe then you still have 20 tabs open and you don't want to see that. Maybe you just want to see like your home screen or maybe just your first three or your main couple tabs or whatever you like to do. But anyway, what we're going to show you how to do is to automatically hide as if I was right clicking going to hide um, on a worksheet. Oops. I need to unhide this one. I need to unhide this one. Now here's how we do that. We're basically whenever I click here it's going to make this hide this report go away. So it's real easy. A um, couple ways to do it. You can hit Alt F11. That's Alt F11. You get in your Visual Basic Editor. And what you want to do is um, in the current worksheet that you're wanting to work in. So sheet 4 is right here. It says hide this. That's the sheet obviously that we're wanting to work on. Another way to get there is just right click on the sheet that you're interested in writing code to and go to view code. And then you're automatically right there. You can see barely that it's highlighted. So now instead of just writing a general procedure, a general sub procedure, you're actually going to do a worksheet event. So click on here and go to worksheet instead of a general code. Go to worksheet. By default they have a selection change. That triggers every time you click here you just change the selection. You click away, you hit the left or right arrow up down, you selected the selection changed. We don't want a selection change, we want a a worksheet deactivate event. So we want something to trigger whenever you click away from the worksheet. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to define exactly what we want to happen, so exactly which worksheet needs to be uh, hidden. So let's do that. Uh, let's scooch this up here a little bit so we can see the name of the worksheet. The name is Hide This. Keep that in mind. And it's in this workbook. So we're going to say this workbook dot sheets open parentheses and we'll put our open quotes and the name of the sheet is hide this in quote in parentheses and then so we have this worksheets and then more specifically this the sheet called hide this and then we want to say dot visible equals false and I'll put an apostrophe for my comment that says hides the worksheet okay so this workbook dot sheets hide this dot visible equals false when that worksheet is deactivated because remember this is the particular worksheet that we put that event in so watch this when I click away it's automatically hidden itself did you see that let's do it again unhide we'll unhide the hide this sheet oh blah 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 generated a report and it opened this up and I'm looking at it and I'm done oh I want to go to the home sheet click away and it's just cleaned itself up for you so now you have a worksheet with maybe one sheet as your home sheet and then the other stuff just opens when it's needed you know you you have an, a visible equals true thing on maybe the other ones so that's pretty much it um, that's how you automatically hide a report or a sheet or just any worksheet I guess that you like so thanks for watching and God bless